We may see a few showers tomorrow with a cold front moving in, but it has been very dry so far for the month of November. We have not had a drop of any measurable rainfall. Really, we have been completely dry this month and you have to go back into October 26th the last find any real measurable rainfall before that you'd have to go back to the early part of the month. So we have really been very dry for most of October and November, which are normally our driest months and even tomorrow not expecting much rain about a 40% chance. And as far as accumulation goes, maybe a little bit more than a couple of tenths of an inch of rainfall. I don't think anybody's going to see even a half inch of rain as we're just not expecting much. Now as we go into the overnight hours, this is our high resolution model. It's probably been the most aggressive of all the models in terms of rainfall may have a few passing showers early tomorrow with a southerly wind. Then as the front starts to approach notice, most of the rain starts to dissipate before it even arrives in southeast Louisiana. So a few spotty showers are possible during the day tomorrow and then by late tomorrow afternoon evening, the front moves through and we will be dry. So our next real chance of rain, a few showers perhaps tomorrow and that's going to be about it for quite a while. We've been under mostly cloudy skies all day today, day today with a few and occasional breaks from some sun. 57 degree dew point, the temperature of 71, so it is definitely more humid outside and those dew points. The humidity will be higher for tomorrow. Today's high 77 above average and our morning low 58. We saw some upper 40s on the North Shore. We're not going to be that cool tomorrow morning though. We're in the 60s and low 70s, so it is a milder evening and we're not going to see temperature dropping much during the overnight period, mainly because we're going to stay under mostly cloudy skies and the humidity is going to be a little bit higher thanks to winds now coming off of the Gulf out of the southeast at around 10 to 15 miles an hour. What we're watching though is our cold front. It's actually the first of two fronts, as I mentioned at the top of the newscast. What we're waiting for is an upper trough to really start to develop and push in the cold front tomorrow. That'll bring down our temperatures a bit for Friday. What then we're going to see is during the day Friday into early early Saturday, a surge of even colder air and the temperature that you see making it across most of the plains and into parts of the Midwest. We're looking at 20s to 30s that cold of an air mass just up to our north will likely equate to temperature staying in the 50s all day on Saturday. The chill sticks with us into the start of next week, but through the course of the week next week, we will also see a gradual warm up before perhaps another upper trough and another cold front for the following weekend. So our temperatures are going to continue this kind of up and down low 80s tomorrow. Again, the first front knocks us into the 70s on Friday and then high staying in the 50s by Saturday and then just kind of a gradual warming trend as we head into next week. The front itself is associated with some severe weather, but we are not expecting any severe weather here. As a matter of fact, as I mentioned, we're probably not going to see much in the way of rainfall increasing clouds. Let's see if this model does anything for our rain chances overnight. Maybe a few isolated spring sprinkles here and there. Most of the rain, whatever rain we do see, would be along the front and even that is not looking to be very much. Cooler air moves in during the day on Friday. Here comes the second front, maybe some passing clouds and then chilly air moves in by Saturday. So kind of a one two punch of our temperatures coming back down. Mostly cloudy tonight. I'll call it cool, maybe a little more in terms of mild temperatures in the 50s and 60s. May see upper 50s. That may be a stretch. 81 are high tomorrow, I'm saying about a 40% chance of rain. The models have been kind of backed off, so maybe about a 30, 40% point is we're not going to see much rain tomorrow. And then we are dry, colder on Saturday afternoon. Look at our start on Sunday. 30s and 40s will stay cool and very pleasant as we go into next week. It looks fantastic. Thanks, Chris.